everybody welcome back to my channel so today i am so excited to say to you all i have got a powerland haul oh my god it has been so 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 long since i did a powerland haul i did like a poundshop.com haul in the middle of this whole um lockdown situation but this is the first time i've actually braved going into poundland my anxiety has been through the roof with this whole thing as I know a lot of people have it being the same so today was the first time I've actually felt comfortable to go and do a Poundland shop and it was it was Monday morning um pretty dead there was hardly anybody around anyway and the social distancing in the shop was bob on so yeah I felt pretty comfortable in my own little bubble doing my little shop I'm so excited to say I've been to Poundland. So the first person I got treats for was Daisy Doodles. So I got here some of these pedigree Biscroc, Biscroc gravy bones. There we go. And I got here some Misfits as well. These are the Twistos with chicken. Then I got a few little bits for the kids. So these are who they buy Whitworths, and these are the Sunny Dunked yogurt coated raisins. There are how many packs? Five snack packs in there. I also picked up some packs of these to see what they thought of them. So these again are from Whitworths and they are the Fruit Feasters and they are apricot. So I think they're just, yeah, partially rehydrated dried apricot pieces. And I've tried these once before, I think with Elise and she thought they were like sweeties. So yeah, hopefully they'll like them. I also picked these up for Danny for when he's going to work tonight to snack on in the car because he's got a bit of a longer journey. So these are milk chocolate raisins. Then I picked up some naughty goodies. These are just squashies and Haribo. They're the tang plastic ones. So then chocolatey treats. I picked up some of these tonics caramel bars because if I see them, I cannot walk past them. I also picked up my favourite chocolate of all time. I'm going to do it this way because that's not even annoying me now. Um, these are the fries peppermint cream and you get three in here as well not that they will last long and then I picked up some smarties for the kiddies so the first random thing I picked up was these microwave containers there's eight in here and these are just obviously the plastic tubs with the lids these seem to grow feet and walk in my house I never know where they've gone or the lid goes missing I don't know. I know that's definitely not just my house that happens. Um, so I'll grab these for any leftover meals we have to pop in the fridge. Then I picked up two of these spray bottles. So I like to spray a bit of water on Elisa's hair when I'm styling it. It's just a lot easier to manage her hair that way. And I got the other one for if I just wanted um, to make up any little like Febreze or Zaflora or anything like that. I picked up some of these clips for Elise. There's 25 on here. 25. How random. Because she has two in at a time. But obviously not everybody does. Anyway, so these are just like the gold um, plated clips. Again, these disappear in my house. I don't know where they go. There must be like a Bermuda Triangle in my house. And I've got odd things just floating around in there. Tupperware lids. Clips. Kirby grips, hair bubbles, pens, and then I picked up these. So I thought I'd best grab a few of these. I have got the disposable ones in the house anyway, but these ones I think you can just rewash. Yeah, so these are face masks. There's three in here, a pink one, and then a navy blue and a light blue. They can be hand washed as well. Can they go in the machine? No, they can't go in the machine. They can be hand washed. Um... I just thought I'd best grab some of these to throw in my bag if we are out and about or when I'm going to work, when Danny needs to go to work. Um, yeah, i just seen them. I thought we've got the disposable ones in the house, so I'll grab some washable ones too. Then I picked up some Carex hand wash because it needs refilling in the bathroom. Not more to say about that really. We wash our hands a lot in this house. <laughs> Then I grabbed some of these for the toilets. Um, these are Polar Princess. They are winter edition. Not that it matters because they're pink and they're pretty and they smell really, really nice. So I got one for downstairs toilet, one for the ensuite, and then my bathroom is 
grey and blue so I didn't want a pink one in there so I grabbed this Harpic one this is an active fresh and it's a lime fresh scent so I grabbed one of those as well sticking with the toilet theme I got some toilet duck this is the dissolves lime scale citrus scented toilet duck again just to throw down the loo not an exciting to say I picked up these because I absolutely love using these in the kitchen these are different to the ones I've had from Poundland before and um, the other ones had patterns on but I like that these are just plain colours so there's a grey one and a pink one and um, for anybody who hasn't seen these they're like I think they're like the is it are they called Minky what Mrs Hinch uses and they sold out like wildfire I've never had a Minky um, but I do just grab these each time I go into Poundland so they're it's like what is it microfiber cleaning pads on this side and then on the other side it's like willow pads um yeah i mean i like them there's nothing else really to say they're good little cleaning tools <laughs> so this next thing i've not seen before and i've seen it and i was just about to grab my good old faithful zaflora and i thought you know what i'm going to give this a go instead it's by one of my favorite cleaning brands astonish and it's their Morning Dew Concentrated Disinfectant. It's also the Pet Fresh one. This bottle is huge and it was only £2. So I thought it's like the big size Sephora's. So for two quid, I'm going to give it a go. Let's have a smell. Oh, that smells really nice and clean. Oh, I like that. These two are, again, new products on me. The brand isn't. I've used it before. It's the Fabulo set. So this is the foam freshener you can use this on your carpet you don't need to vacuum afterwards you just literally shake spray it creates a foam all over your carpets all the rugs Um, i think you can use it on your couch i didn't last time oh yeah it says upholstery Um, i just used it on the carpets and rugs and you basically just spray it all over let it dissolve and it smells lovely and fresh this scent is a new one it's the it's not new it's new to me so it's gold touch just smells really pretty it's like perfumey bit of coconutty the coconut one is phenomenal it smells amazing but they didn't have that one so i grabbed that one to try and then this one which is absolutely perfect for now um i do love going around spraying all my door handles and light switches and front door letterbox and everything so this is again by fabulosa it's a concentrated disinfectant all-in-one disinfectant spray it's in the scent wild rhubarb and it says kills cold and flu viruses it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria basically what I like about this is you can just shake and spray on um, like your door handles and you don't need to go and wipe afterwards you can just grab it walk around the house and spray any door handles toilets anything with this um it says you can be used on hard and soft surfaces so yeah i really really like the sound of that so that was it for all the cleaning stuff now let me quickly show you a few bits of stationery i grabbed so first i got a pack of ballpoint pens um, these are just the paper mate ones there's how many four four black pens in here then i grabbed this cute little pink things to do pad and if you open it up in here it's just for each day a little list of things to do priorities goals i got this purely for my tropic business so i can keep track of all my orders and put everybody on a different page of what they want so that's what that's for and then i grabbed this one is again is just a pink notepad um it's an a4 lined paper and i just grabbed this because i go through notepads like nobody's business and then lastly just some bits i picked up for the kids so these are some coloring books first of all i picked up this pepper helps out coloring book um i just thought it was really sweet it's not very thick but obviously with it being like pepper pig or proper car like a proper character shall we say um they don't tend to be very thick do they so i just thought it was really cute because each page is like um pepper being polite and it gives you a little bit of 
um, narrative of how she's saying please and thank you and then she's helping out what else is she doing she's helping out in the kitchen she's been a firefighter she's visiting her friends in hospital i just thought it was really sweet at least i like coloring in that and it also has a nice little message in there as well to be nice and help out um, I grabbed this one for Elliot, which is just an amazing animals colouring book. He is absolutely obsessed with elephants still. Um, so hopefully there's a few elephants in here. And then I grabbed this one for Elise because it was a bit of a thicker one. Um, it's Felicity the Flamingo and I just thought that was so cute. It's got loads of stickers in the front and loads. Oh, there's an elephant straight away. Look at that. So they'll have to share these, I think. <laughs> I picked up this Don't Mess No Mess floor mat it's 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters it's got loads of dinosaurs on i got this because i've got them slip into this next one some sand and i thought if i put the sand in two little dishes each for them to play with and put it on the mat when they're done i can fold all the mat up and shake it outside simple and um, so these are sandcraft this one is uh, purple and it does say on it, laboratory approved, it's certified. Um, so they're nice and safe for the kids to play with. But this one is purple for Elise, it's her favorite color. Um, it's got little shapes in there, like little ice creams and trees and all stuff. And then Elliot's got a little green one. And I just thought they will keep them busy this afternoon while I've got some work to do. Then some bath toys, I got this little clock because Elise is trying to learn the time and I thought we'll just make it a little bit more fun. The numbers all pop out as well, um, so she can put them back to where they should go. And she's actually doing really well at the minute with her teller, like telling the time. She's got a little clock on her kitchen I'm looking at now, I'm in her bedroom. And each time we come in, she always says, mum, what time is it? Which, which, which way do the hands point? So she's starting to learn. So I thought if we've got this in the bath, it'll be nice and fun for them to play with. I also picked up these for the same reason. These are just loads of numbers and she's doing sums at the minute, so they will be helpful. They're also for Elliot because they just stick on the bath and they'll keep him happy. And he's learning his numbers as well, might I just add. <laughs> and then I got these two little wind up bath toys, a little shark for Elliot and a little turtle for Elise. I think they might be a little bit old for, for them now, well, especially Elise, but I know if I got Elliot one, I didn't get here one, there would be chaos in this house. And then finally, I just wanted to show you these. If you do have children and you are working up a bit of a story um, collection for bedtime, we love doing bedtime stories and I wanted to start building up a little collection. So I grabbed these, a pound each. They are absolutely gorgeous little stories and they look really nice as well. The illustration is beautiful. So first I got this one, which is Best Friends Forever. Um, this is it's just a story all about friendship. Then I got this one, which is called I'm Not a Sleepy Sloth. This one, which is I Love You More Than. And What About Me? So I thought they were just gorgeous little stories for us to read. Um, Elliot really likes stories as well now. And for a pound, they just look really, really gorgeous. They're really nice. Um, so yeah, definitely get yourself down to Poundland if you are on the lookout for some bedtime stories. So that was everything that I got in my first post-lockdown Poundland haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm hoping to start venturing out a little bit more in the coming weeks to months. <laughs> I'm a bit of a wimp at the minute. But hopefully, fingers crossed, I might get to Home Bargains in this next week. So there will be a Home Bargains haul coming. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you're all doing well. And yeah, if you did, thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more future hauls. And thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one.